after last week's debate, where Mitt Romney was widely been considered the winner over President Obama, people are wondering if Joe Biden is going to take charge or if Paul Ryan will build on the Republican momentum. Deandra Corinthios has a preview of tonight's debate. She begins our red, white, and blue election coverage. Yeah, Casey, the pressure is on for both VB candidates tonight. On the one hand, some are looking to Biden to land a blow on Ryan, and on the other, this will be Paul Ryan's first time debating on a national stage. But the candidates aren't the only ones prepping for tonight. At De Pere's Luna Cafe, politics are in the air. Just take a look at Bridget Reardon's lunchtime reading. I'm catching up on the Wall Street Journal and of course, interested in the elections and looking forward to the debate tonight. At a table nearby, Joanne Shador is prepping too, fact-checking statements made in the last debate. We need to get more of an in-depth look at, at the issues rather than just a tiny little 10-second blurb on TV. Others like Darby Kern as much interested in the politics as the people. Tonight's going to be uh, a fun debate. I think it's... It's probably going to be a little uh, short on specifics and, and long on personality. The stakes are high for both parties. Republicans hoping Paul Ryan can maintain Mitt Romney's recent lead in the polls and Democrats banking on Joe Biden's experience to pull through with a win. Katie Newman wants to see the Democrats put up a fight. I think they should take an aggressive tone because it was way too mellow last time. But above all, experts say the public's focus should be on the issues at hand. It's not a contest between two individuals. It's a contest between two parties, two platforms, two visions of government. The debate will touch on both foreign and domestic issues. In foreign policy, it's considered to be Joe Biden's area of expertise. As for Paul Ryan, budgetary issues are known to be his strong suit. Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.